everyone, it's Caitlin from Caitlin's Family Farmstead. It's a really bright, sunny morning, not a cloud in the sky. Apparently we're going to get some rain this afternoon, but uh, we'll see if that actually happens. That would be late tonight. Um, I just thought I'd quick do a little update on my chickens that I have been raising this summer for meat. It's been a while since I've done that and I am just realized I got to do it before it's too late because tomorrow morning they are heading out of here. So I'm going to just show you around, see uh, you guys can see how they're doing. I have the Freedom Rangers, um, or I think they're the same as Freedom Rangers, sorry. They're called Rustic Rangers from the hatchery that I got. So um, I'll let you guys have a look at them, and uh, they're doing pretty good. As you can see, this grass is insanely long. That's a hutch, guys. It's like it's tall or taller than the hutch. Some of this grass is longer than us. We're waiting for our fence, perimeter fence. Those posts are all rotten. So if you see one, that's not a good fence. There's no fencing on it anymore. We're putting fencing all the way around this area for our animals. We're waiting for that to happen. Supplies are limited. You know how that all goes. But anyways, so here are the birds. So in this chicken house, um, I think I have 20 in here. They are looking good. I will put up in the description somewhere or in the picture here how many weeks they are. I believe they're 12 weeks old, but they're doing really good. They're like, they've gotten big, like, so maybe they aren't as cost efficient as a regular Cornish cross because you have to keep them a little longer. But I kind of like them. They acted more like a chicken pecking, you know, not like when they see the food. See how there's food here in this trough and there's only like a few at it. They're not, they're not going crazy. Like sometimes when you have those Cornish cross, it's, it's like they just gobble, gobble. So they'll just, they'll sit by the feeder and just eat. You can tell they're not even hungry. They're just eating because that's just what they're supposed to be doing. Where these guys are up and they're moving around. They're pecking at the ground. They're just, they're chilling. They eat. You know, they do their thing though. So they act more like a chicken. So that's kind of cool. So there's 20 in that one. And this one, I think there's maybe 30 actually because it got hot the day we were moving. We had them all in this one and we were separating them then because they got bigger. And uh, so yeah. It just got too hot <laughs> and it looks pretty good uh, yeah i did lose a couple at the very beginning but that was i think my error um i had them in the brooder a little bit longer than maybe i should have see like look at feeder birds they're not even they're not even going crazy at the feeder which is totally unheard of with the cornish cross um yeah so i lost a few at the beginning i think i lost 10 maybe um and then it was kind of weird. I wanted to get them out sooner than, but it was just cold. And then it went from cold to like in May, July weather. So, you know, how this summer's been going. So as I'm showing you around, so these guys are going all tomorrow. We'll see what their weights are, see what their taste is like. I'll also show you, remember those little turkeys that I got? Let's see if I open up this door. You guys can see them better. They're not so little anymore. That heat lamp is obviously not on. It's just in here. We wired it in. They're doing awesome. I think, I know he's a rooster, or he's like a male. Pretty sure that's a female. Maybe that one too. But I think that one might be a male as well. They don't come out here, like out and about right at the moment yet. We don't have like wire, like a cage area penning yet. So, they don't come out so he hasn't really fluffed up his feathers too much they did get out on me one day and he, he i know he is like he's definitely a tom but i don't know about the other three 100 percent. i'm pretty sure that one's a hen i'm really hoping so that uh maybe someday we could ha catch out a few we'll see you never know that actually works i heard turkeys aren't the easiest to do um we'll see and if we have too many toms well that's okay too because we can always fill our freezer up <laughs> and I'll show you the ducks because they were the other ones with these crew of first birds that I got and uh, a few of the ducks will be going tomorrow as well with these chickens
guess another thing I want to point out about these rustic rangers is our whatever you want to call them. Look at their uh, feathers, eh? Like even underneath, like that one has a bit on the bum, but for the most part, if you don't like how those Cornish crosses, like they, no matter how few birds you have in an area, they seem to just lose their feathers. They don't keep them. I'm very impressed with how these guys look. Like you can't complain too much about that. They're, they're not even comparable. I, d I don't think at least and I've raised quite a few of them so I really like this um, I know it's just looks and but to me I'd rather look at a bird that has feathers than uh, those Cornish cross that just can't seem to keep them through the whole time so and you know that's an, just another little side note maybe for these birds that I, I think is a plus so the ducks are over here. It is a mud mess, y'all, because we dumped out their pool the other day because it just needed to be cleaned and I can see it needs to be dumped again and I didn't put straw down. It's really gross. It's ducks, right? So they're in there. They're in a little house. They kind of get scared, so I won't bug them too much. But they will be all going, well, not all going, no. Um, a couple of them will be going tomorrow as well with the chickens. And I do take my birds to an actual processor just because I do sell um, some of my birds. I have uh, a few friends and uh, that buy them and just because, I don't know, I just think it's better if I do it um, at the processing plant. They price them there for me and everything. They weigh it all out so I don't have to do any of that stuff. And uh, I think some of my, the people that buy from me would appreciate that more so than me doing it myself. So for that, for right now, that's what we do. Um, last year I wrote, uh, raised, I think 150 meat birds. Um, this year I plan to do 60 and I think I have, I don't know exact number. I'm assuming around 50-ish. Uh, could be a give or take more a few. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do any more than that just because... I'm not pursuing anymore. I was going to maybe pursue the whole meat chicken business selling. Um, it's kind of a tough market. There's a lot of people out there so doing that. So I'm not really big into it anyways. Um, yeah. So I think because I've been raising so many chicks this year for to do my replacement chickens, because I have a, about a flock, hi kitty, <laughs> of uh egg laying I, I i kind of am trying to do all my own replacements that will also give me a lot of roosters um way too many roosters than what i will actually need so i'm fine with getting those processed for my own freezer and using those myself and uh yeah so i think i'll do a lot less of the actual meat chicken like orange cross or these rustic rangers um and do just process a lot more of my roosters for myself or I mean like you can can it and stuff and it doesn't taste too bad so that's what it's going on right now I got lots more animals in the barn they're all yelling at me I can hear them they want uh, to be fed including this little kitty right little kitten hey cutie <laughs> yeah, right up in there so anyways, I just thought I would give you a little peek around what's going on. Uh, we're always busy around here. Lots going on. Um, hopefully I can post more often. It's hard. Really hard, y'all. Like, my goodness, I don't know how some people do it. Uh, there's just a lot going on here. So to do it, it's, I like doing it, but um, we'll try as much as we can. Um, keep busy. Have fun on your homestead. And God bless.